Hey everyone, Cookie here. This is my CSR 50 gameplay in Infinity Slayer. Right off the bat on Simplex, you want to shoot across to try to weaken the other team. And I noticed that one of their teammates jumped for Ovi and he was already there pretty much. So what I tried to do there is uh, assassinate him when he walked by me. Uh, he walked by me, but it was way too quick, so I ended up getting weakened, and I do a good job of staying alive. The number one rule in Slayer game types, I'd say, is just to try to stay alive as long as you can, and it just gives your team an advantage, you know, it, it doesn't give them a kill, um, it doesn't give up map control, just staying alive is pretty much, you know, one of the most important things to try to focus on in Slayer game types. Um, and Simplex is one of those maps that lends itself to, you know, running away, sneaking away, um, getting in good positioning and staying alive. So you'll notice I got a Railgun. Railgun is extremely important to get in, on Simplex because it can guarantee you at least, like, two kills if you're decent with Railgun. Um, as you can see, people who are just aren't paying attention, I'm just picking off with Rail. And... I had a pretty good start right there, I don't know how many kills, yeah, five kills right off the bat, and my teammates are putting in the assists, which is good. Um, the thing about Simplex is that, generally speaking, you want to have map control, which includes, you want one person on purple, you want at least one person, like, either at a base or top mid. Top mid control is huge. And you'll notice that I try to get top mid uh, a lot of times in this game. Right here I almost choked this, but I end up picking him off, thankfully. <laughs> so, map control in Simplex includes at least one person on either purple or gold, and you want one person in the base or top mid. And you can always double stack people, like put two purple, two gold, you may triple stack people. Um, three gold, you know, three purple, but... You really don't want to do anything more than triple stacking people just because, you know, you you sacrifice your map control over the other parts of the map and you're going to end up getting spawn trapped pretty much. So it's never good to do that. You'll notice right there, I notice all three of my teammates are purple. So what do I do? I try to go gold. I end up pushing into the base and picking this guy off. And I continue my push to gold because my team is all still around purple. I end up picking off a kill. That's what you can do. Uh, if your teammates are all on one side, they are putting shots across the map. They're weakening people, and by going to the opposite side of the map, you can clean up the kills. Um, what you also want to do is you never want the other team to have control of your base. So if they... It's, it's not necessarily you don't want them to have control of your base. You don't want them to have people running around in your base. Because if you spawn and if you spawn like bottom base or back base and you know that there's someone in your base, you're going to be focusing on them. But that's, you know, they may end up killing you, but that's not your biggest concern. Your biggest concern is the fact that you're giving up uh, gold control, purple control, and top mid control while you're trying to hunt down the guy in your base. So it's always important to just, uh, you know, rotate around your base, make sure it's completely clear because... You really don't want people running around picking you off and distracting you because, you know, sacrificing map control on Simplex is just too big of a sacrifice. You'll notice, once again, my teammates are purple, so I'm pushing gold. I do that this entire match. I just try to push the opposite side of my teammates so we can get crossfire. And that's just, you know, that's what you should do on any map, any game type. You should always just try to be conscious of where your teammates are, try to get the control. And right now I'm moving top mid just because it's a power position. I end up overextending. I probably wouldn't have pushed this uh, if I could go back, but I get the people weak enough so I can end up picking off a kill, and I'm trying to flank behind these guys who I know probably are going for that railgun. So I end up getting cleaned up. I probably shouldn't have pushed so far in their base. Um, that's another thing that you always want to be conscious of is uh, who has the high ground and who has the strong positions in the map. Obviously top mid, uh, top purple and top gold are power positions in this game. You don't really want to be stuck in the base, especially at the bottom of a base. So you always have to be aware of where you are. You'll see that 
Contest has rail, but I end up weakening him enough. I don't want to drop down on him because... You know, uh, he could just run away, and chances are he would end up running away, and I would be shot in the back, and I'd give up the top mid power position. So you notice what I'm doing right now is just staying top mid, you know, putting shots into people, picking people off, and uh, just trying to hold the middle of the map. Contest gets some good shots there and ends up taking me out. So, so far it's 32 to 29. I have 16 of our team's kills. Um, my teammates have been putting in some nice shots, and I've been getting a lot of assists as well. But what is key in this game type as well, especially this map, is to... When you have no radar and you're on simplex, you always want to make sure that you don't push beyond where your team is. It's almost like uh, in, in anything, like soccer... Um, it's like in soccer, hockey, you know, there are all these, there's like an offsides rule where you, know, you can't cross a certain line until the puck crosses that line, or you can't cross a certain line until the ball crosses that line. So you can't cross the defender until, you know, you have the ball. You know, there are all these rules like that, and it pretty much applies to Halo as well. Um, you don't want to cross a certain part in the map unless you know your teammate is on your side um, at least somewhere on the map. So if you're gonna push top gold, you don't want to push top gold unless you know your teammate is pushing top purple or pushing top mid. And you can see right there. I look to the right. I have a teammate top mid, teammate top purple. Um, my teammate and I immediately look to see if we can clean up the kill, and I end up getting a distraction right there. So um, that's something that you always want to pay attention to. And you know, 4v4 game types, more than any other game type, you have to be aware of where your teammates are. You'll see that right now I don't want to drop down, I don't want to sacrifice this position, so I end up just putting shots into people. I pick up assist, and that's good enough for me. You have to be willing to sacrifice your life for an assist in team game types. It's not that you should try to die, it's just that you shouldn't exactly think it's a bad play if you get a kill. Or if you don't get a kill and your teammates end up cleaning up the kill. Alright, um, it's getting to the last 12 kills of the game. I'm going to end up getting a really nice play, a really nice triple kill coming up. So right here I'm just trying to hold top control. You can see that my teammates aren't exactly pushing, so I don't want to be super aggressive as well. I'm just trying to stay around the halfway mark, trying to flank. Um, so I can get behind the people and get my teammates a little bit more map control. And that's what happens when you try to push out too far and your teammates don't have control, is that you get assassinated like I did. I noticed my teammates top gold, so what am I going to do? I'm going to push behind my teammate at purple, and I'm going to try to get behind them. Uh, this is the nice play. Clean up one guy, clean up another guy. I end up pretty much embarrassing the, th the third guy for a triple. And what I want to do is stay alive because I'm weak. And right here, I probably shouldn't have been bottom mid. I probably should have tried to go to one of the sides. That was just a bad play on my part. At least I got an assist, though. So the last two kills of the game, uh, we're just playing. My teammate ends up getting one kill, and, you know, we're just trying to look for it. When you're up by this much and you only need one more kill, you can play very aggressively. A guy ends up getting caught on a ledge on the other across the map. I got the kill. Um, that was my 50 game in Infinity Slayer. I ended up getting 24 kills. Um, like, comment, and subscribe to the channel if you want. I have more gameplays to come. Let me know what content you like, what content you don't like, what content you like to see in the future. Um, I definitely will listen to your recommendations. And that is all. So see you later. <laughs>